The Australian share market fell by 7.5% in May, the largest single month fall since the height of the GFC in October 2008. We saw significant volatility during the month with the average daily move on the share market being around 1.5%. Interestingly, the banking sector significantly underperformed the resources sector despite uncertainty within that industry as the Australian market was mainly driven by offshore factors over that month. Increased sovereign risk throughout Europe increased concerns of a second global downturn and while the US reporting season was strong, investor uncertainty remained over the speed of the US economic recovery. However, over recent weeks we've seen very encouraging economic data out of the US with strong manufacturing, house sales and car sales reinforcing Macquarie's view that the largest economy in the world is also one of the strongest at the moment. US investors are in somewhat of a sweet spot where positive economic and company environment is being further stimulated by interest rates that look like remaining at historic lows for the foreseeable future. It is very clear that investors are currently experiencing a dip in confidence, with recent Korean and Middle Eastern tensions continuing to impact sentiment, along with European and domestic issues. We remain of the view that as the macro concerns ease, the market will refocus on the fundamental strength of the world's major economies, driving further gains in the share market. The Australian economy is likely to receive relief in the near term, as the RBA indicated last week interest rates will remain on hold for the near term, and GDP data showed our economy was growing slightly better than expectations. Macquarie forecasts two more rate rises later in the year. Australian job ads are released today, with consumer confidence in housing, finance and unemployment data later in the week. I'm Marcus Campbell from Macquarie Private Wealth.